In this video, I'm going to show how to make a Roblox chat bubble that is hopefully going to be more interesting than the default blank one. We have chat window configuration, chat input bar configuration, and bubble chat configuration, right? Now, you should know that chat window and chat input bar actually are very similar to bubble chat. So I'm going to teach you bubble chat, but by the end of the video, you'll know how to use both of these as well. Bubble chat configuration is like a GUI, okay? It's basically the actual bubble chat, right? So here you can change the transparency of the background. You can change the color of the background. You can change the, the fonts. Um, you can change the color, all of this other cool stuff, which I'll get to in a bit. And then, you know, you have stuff like UI corner, you have stuff like gradients, you have stuff like padding, and then you have a potential image label, right? Maybe you want your bubble to have some sort of image. And I will actually show you this in action, okay? So let's say I type in hello, all right? We get this basic, I don't know, Starbucks girl white bar, okay, with a little tail. For example, let's take the UI gradient and let's enable it, okay? Now it's white, so we're not gonna see any difference. I want a gradient that's like orange, and then this one is gonna be red, okay? So we have this nice like fiery thing. And then I say hello, and look at that. There we go, now it has this like nice cool gradient, right? The other thing I could do is also just remove the UI corner, like so, right? And as you can see, it updates immediately. So it was like a, it was like a little square, right? And then, you know, you can add like other stuff to the bubble chat. Like you can add all the other UI stuff. Like, you know, you can add a corner, you can add a gradient, but all of the other main uh, settings that you can customize are inside the bubble chat configuration item as properties, okay? So for example, background transparency, I'll set it to one, okay? There we go. Literally no background, just hello above the player, okay? And maybe that's what you want, you know? Like so. Maybe you want the player to have a bolded text, right? Maybe you want the color of the text to be white, like so, right? Like, let me see. Hello. So if you don't want to have the bubble, that is something you could do. Then we have properties like tail visible, right? So if I say hello, like so, I can remove the tail, right? There we go. Um, I can change this text size back to be 16, right? I can change the text color even, right? I can make it like so. I can make it just darker. And then again, you know, you can change the font. So I can change it to be like Rubik wet paints. I don't know. I don't know why it's named like that. Okay. But there we go. Now, the very last couple properties are all in here. You have bubble duration. Okay. Now this is very simple. Just how long will the bubble stay alive for in seconds? If you want the bubbles to disappear after two seconds, just say two. And then, you know, whenever the player types anything, there we go, disappears in two seconds, okay? Spacing is also fairly simple. When you have multiple bubbles, like so, how spaced are they, right? So if I want them to be not spaced at all, if I want them to like literally touch each other, that's weird, but but yeah, there's like no spacing in there. But if I set it to something like 20, okay, and then I say hello, and then hello, yeah, you know, then the spacing is a little more obvious, but I'll set it back to six. You have local player studs offset, which is basically just like the offset of the player, right? So maybe if you want the, the bubble to appear a little bit to the side of the player, you could do that, right? So I could say um, three for, for this, and I could say hello, and it would appear over here, right? Or maybe like you could do, some, you could do something like this, right? Hello. Um, I will set the bubble duration back to 15, just for, for the next um, couple properties. Max bubbles is fairly simple. If I were to say hello, and then I were to say it three times, then the fourth bubble would disappear, okay? Like so. If I were to say max bubbles to two, uh, it would have the same thing, okay? Where I can only have two bubbles on at the same time. But I can set max bubbles to be 10, okay? And then it would actually let me have all the other bubbles. Now, obviously, um, you know, I can't really look at all the other bubbles because there is, they're very big and they're cramped on my screen, but in theory, you could have 10 or more maximum bubbles on at the same time. Then you have max distance and minimize distance, okay? So max distance basically means um, the maximum distance you can your camera can be at before the messages just disappear, okay? So if I say hello and then I go far, when I, when I go beyond the 100 stud mark, the messages disappear, okay? And uh, minimize distance is very similar, right? It's just the distance where the message gets like minimized like this, okay? 
So if I were to say that the minimize distance is 100, for example, and then say hello, then it's not going to minimize, right? And then it's just going to, you know, go away because both of these are the same, right? Or I can set minimize distance to be 1, and then it's always going to be minimized. And the last property is vertical studs offset, which is exactly like local player studs offset, but only for the Y axis, okay? So if I say hello, I can actually change this like so. And yeah, so that's effectively all you need to know about bubble chat configuration. Like I said, you have chat window and chat input bar, but they're very similar in the sense that like you can do the same things, right? Like for example, chat input bar. Like if I wanted to, I could change the background color to be red, okay? And there we go, now, now the bar is red, right? And yeah, so if you found the video helpful, um, check out my courses in the comments and the description, and maybe the Discord server as well. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.